The Indian Navy had recently revealed its plans to develop a glide fire surface to surface missile system with a private sector company, and initial speculations was that it might be a hypersonic glide vehicle, but as per latest reports, the glide fire will be a long range autonomous precision guided missile system that can be launched from universal vertical launcher from a variety of warships like destroyers, frigates, corvettes, and offshore patrol vessels to hit high value naval and land based targets. It will have a range of more than 300 kilometers, and will feature sea skimming and low-level terrain following with real-time data link support, as well as a digital scene matching area core related technology. Munition India Limited has released an expression of interest, to seek responses from eligible Indian companies for the development of 155mm smart ammunition under Make 1 category with at least 50% indigenous content. Five rounds of smart ammunition and two units of fire control systems will be developed during prototype development stage, that will be ready within the next 30 weeks. It will weigh around 52 kilograms, and should be capable of firing from all in-service 155mm guns of the Indian Army at both low and high angles of fire. The primary mode of guidance will be through jam-resistant GPS or Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System receiver, while the secondary mode of guidance will be provided using laser or infrared designation system, by a ground-based observation post officer or an air observation post officer from a helicopter or an unmanned aerial vehicle. Munition India Limited has started a new project to develop a drone-delivered smart ammunition under Make 1 category. Under this project, three technologies will be developed, that includes ammunition delivery system and its homing and guidance system, its launcher to drop the ammunition, and a loitering munition. The first prototype will be ready in 36 months after signing the contract, and once ready, it will be integrated on all indigenous armed drones. A Chennai-based company Balloatral Solutions has won a grant worth 3 crore rupees from the Ministry of Defence to work on two defence startup challenges, that includes an augmented reality and virtual reality solution for airplane mechanics, and a virtual reality based training simulator for helicopter pilots within the next two years, that will eliminate the need for a real helicopter for training and evaluation. The simulator will have a virtual cockpit environment for testing various capabilities of pilots, such as their emergency response and cognitive loads, that will serve as a highly economical and effective evaluation solution. The Indian Navy's P-8I long-range maritime patrol aircraft has arrived at the Lari Union Island in the southern Indian Ocean, on a five-day mission to undertake coordinated surveillance with French Navy warships, to enhance maritime safety and security in the southern Indian Ocean including the Mozambique Channel. The Indian Army Chief has said, that the Army is currently in the final stage of completing the studies on the Tri-Services Theatrization, but there are certain issues among the three armed services that need to be addressed. According to the plan, each of the theatre commands will have units of the Army Navy and the Air Force, and all of them will work as a single entity to counter any security challenge in a specified geographical territory under an operational commander. Thank <laughs> you.